Nora Efron, who has died at the age of 71. Let's have a look at the latest weather now with Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi, Sophie. Quite a messy weather picture today in that you can see behind me just the extent of the cloud across the UK at the moment. We're starting to see a little bit of sunshine, though. So together with the high humidity that we have at the moment, that will mean some fairly intense downpours for places this afternoon. So I think that's really the main thing to watch for, the heat brewing up some pretty nasty showers and it's humid for all of us. A lot of mist and low cloud and fog around, as well around southern and western coasts. It's the most likelihood for the showers, I think, eastern parts of England, but it's very different up in Scotland. We've got a weather front here and it's persistent rain and drizzle. But for Northern Ireland, after a fairly wet morning, actually, it could well brighten up with a few sharp showers, temperatures into the low 20s. What a difference, though, across eastern Scotland. Quite cool with that fetch off the sea here and all that drizzly rain. Now, it will be an improving, brightening picture for Northern England, but with it, that risk of those heavy showers I've talked about, about some thundery downpours around Lincolnshire, East Anglia perhaps, but inland across Wales and the southwest, here we should see brightening skies, but again, it's really quite misty and foggy around some of the coasts. And as we drift our way towards the Wimbledon area, also a batch of cloud is drifting its way in, producing mostly light rain, but there is an increasing risk that we will see some light rain for the play this afternoon. Whether that causes interruptions is hanging in the balance. It will be quite light, but tomorrow, more likely to be some heavier downpours, but again, it's quite a small chance and hopefully this evening actually as that uh, patchy rain moves away it will brighten for a time but further west you can already see what's taking place the onset of yet more rain so it'll get closer again and more humid through the night once again so really quite uncomfortable temperatures not falling much below 16 to 18 degrees celsius and some really nasty conditions if you're caught in that thundery rain tomorrow morning through the rush across wales into northwest england northern ireland and scotland and particularly for southern and eastern Scotland and Northern Ireland, where that thundery rain will be closely followed by some heavy thundery showers. There's a risk of localised flooding. Some fairly brisk winds in the north and picking up in the south, but the showers much more scattered in southern areas. There's some escaping, and as a result of more sunshine, a warmer day tomorrow, 25, 26 degrees potentially in some areas. But that doesn't last because by Friday we're back to, well, windier weather, as you can see, showery weather and fresher weather as a result. Temperatures getting to between 18 and 20 degrees Celsius. And that's because we've got low pressure back with us. So it's not going to be unsettled all the time. But you can see some fairly strong winds blowing those showers in and blowing the warmth away as well. So it looks much fresher and cooler for Friday and the weekend with some blustery showers. So Adam, thank you very much. That is all from the news at one this lunchtime, so it's goodbye from me and on BBC One. We join the BBC's news teams where you are. Bye-bye.